Well, well, I've got to say, this is a first. I've never had a Class 1 citizen in my ranks before. Congratulations, Captain. It's a high honor. Had to do something big for the colonies to earn that sort of designation. Only ever met a couple myself, and certainly never given one orders. You should be real proud. No need to thank me. You brought this all on yourself. I've already gone ahead and processed your Class 1 benefits. All UC goods and services should now have a thanks for protecting the colonies discount. And the credits should be in your accounts now. But to get into your penthouse, you'll have to pay a visit to the Affilion Realty Office. They should be able to grant you access. Just out the front door and across the plaza, by the embassies. Look for the Affilion sign. Higher-ups wanted to make sure you know how much they appreciate what you've done. But, with all that squared, it's time to get you a new assignment. There are your standard Vanguard missions, putting those pilot skills to use defending UC space. Or you could help the TMD in cleaning up Terramorphs. Oh, and I got a request from Dr. Walker. Wanted your help collecting biological samples to keep an eye out for any, uh, new alien threats on the horizon. Any of those missions call to you? Sure, he'll have all the specifics. If you find yourself looking for more work, you know where to find me. I'm always ready to make a deal. Well, well, if it isn't the United Colony's newest Class 1 citizen. You've made quite a name for yourself in New Atlantis. In fact, the higher-ups want to thank you for your dedicated service by giving you one of the nicest pieces of real estate in the city. It's a premium penthouse at the top of Mercury Tower. Best location in New Atlantis, in my professional opinion. What do you say? It'll just take a second to get you registered as the owner. Great! You're in for a real treat. It's one of my favorite apartments in the city. Okay? You're all set. Your new home's located in Mercury Tower in the residential district. You'll love the place. It has a gorgeous floor plan and an unbeatable view of the city. <laughs> now that you're an owner, I'm sure I'll be seeing you around town. Oh, that movie was epic. Definitely better than the last in the set, though. Crime has slowed down since you started helping out, which is good for morale. The whole department is in the process of recovering, myself included. If I'm being honest, I still have nightmares of my team turning on one another. Things can be replaced and wounds can be healed, but building back that trust in each other is going to take time. Luckily, we've built a good culture here and we hired some new recruits who were inspired by what you did. I've got faith we'll survive this. I do. Thanks to you, the spaceport is up and running again, which is good for commerce, but also for smugglers. We've received a tip that someone has been bringing in contraband into New Atlantis through the spaceport, and we need to investigate. Well, technology-wise, 
Criminals have always been one step ahead. No different now than it was centuries ago. Smugglers often have a fancy shielding or scan jammers that allow them to evade the checks. But luckily, we can still use old-fashioned detective work to track these criminals down. Great. First, speak to one of the technicians over by landing pad B. Ask them if they've noticed any suspicious activity. Once you've gotten a lead, cross-reference their testimony with ship records over at Aegis. When you're done, report back to me with your findings. Remember that job you did for Agent Plato? I finally had a reason to call in that favor he owes us. I asked him to pull the names and cargo of every potential smuggling ship that docked in the last month. He said he'll have a slate ready for you to examine. There should be a few working on the landing pads. If they don't know anything, move on to another. Right now, we don't have any good leads. But if anyone's seen anything, it will give us something to go on. See you later. Hey. Yeah? I can't say I have. When you work a job like this, you see so many ships. They all sort of blend together. Nope. I just keep my head down and do my job. Speaking of which, I better get back to it. Howdy. Yeah? It's about time. I've been telling my supervisor about that cargo ship for ages. I'm beginning to think he was ignoring me. It's the way the crew handled the cargo. They were being way too dedicated. The manifest said they were carrying potatoes, spuds. I don't know what was in those crates, but it certainly wasn't that. That's the problem. I don't really look at the ship names when I work, just the ID number granted for clearance. I think it was UC-576B? I do know it's a cargo class transport, if that helps. Gotta go. I'm afraid the fewer people there are thinking about Aegis on a daily basis, the easier my job is. That I do, Captain. Sergeant Yumi said you'd be coming to pick it up. You've got good timing, too. I actually have a friend on a classified star station who sent me this list of potential smugglers the other day. Here you are. Given I owe you for the last job, I hope it serves some use. That's right. Classified station, top secret projects, etc., etc. Nothing you need to be concerned with at the moment, Captain. Yep. Every ship on that list has a route that goes through New Atlantis. Not surprising, given we're the biggest port in town. And if they're smuggling stuff there, you can bet your ass they're smuggling stuff here. It's been a pleasure. Has Invest found those smugglers yet? Is that right? Do you know the name by any chance? Captain Enjai's ship. I think you might have hit the mark here. You had reports of their crew being less than professional on several occasions. Still, being a little rough around the edges isn't exactly a crime. Are you sure it's the right ship? Then the next step is searching their cargo for any smuggled contraband. And, as luck would have it, I believe the Anansi has already arrived at landing pad B. I'll make the call to have the ship detained until further notice. Your job is to board the ship, locate any illicit goods, and return them here. And if any of the crew puts up a fight, I trust you know what to do. Good luck. Looking for something?
Well, it looks like you got me, officer. I guess this means my potato shipping days are numbered. But maybe you'd be willing to give a first-time offender a slap on the carpal bone. I don't suppose you're interested in a deal? Fine. You've made your choice. But now, you'll have to pay for it. How's the, investiga How's the investigation going? No major hiccup. Good work. Did you find anything? Very well done, Captain. Time and time again, you come through for us. Initially, I felt bad for having someone of your rank doing security, but frankly, you're worth the guilt. In any case, I'll have a team move the ship off the landing pad and do a full sweep. Make sure there's no other surprises on board. Oh, and... Before I forget, your payment, it's well deserved. Dangerous assignment, but you all are here because you can handle it. So any questions, concerns, anything at all giving you pause, you come see Dr. Walker or I. Little problems left unchecked become big problems. And we fix big problems here, not make them. Now let's get to work. Welcome, everyone, to the TMD. Yes, what? Interest you in a new assignment? No one else I'd rather have doing it. Who knows? Probably need to cut me down and count the rings to figure it out at this point. I joined UC DRIP, Defense Research and Initiative Program, right after graduation. Worked on all kinds of projects, but I fell hard for Xenobio. Way I saw it, nature had already figured out plenty more than we ever will. So, why not just copy some of the answers? Initially, it was a lot of material sciences, using carapace to make tougher ship hulls, biofluids for helmet glass that didn't fog. But when the war started looming, top brass in the UC military had other ideas for what we should be looking into. That's where Xeno weapons got started. There was a team before us, set up in some secret base somewhere, that laid down a fair bit of groundwork on the field. But when a lab accident took them down, they called on Hadrian and I to take up the mantle, set in motion everything that's come since. Oh yeah, known each other since the Xeno weapons team first set up on Mars. You can imagine my shock when I walked into this place for the first time and found some plucky 19-year-old was going to be my partner. <laughs> we were supposed to be co-heads initially, but you've dealt with Hadrian. You can imagine about how long that lasted. But the Major knew her stuff. Saw potential in all his staff, and knew how to get the best out of them. Kind of bull only an uncynical woman like Adrian could pull off. <laughs> For all the damage that group did, we were... well... We were real tight-knit. Having that back, it's nice. Why? You wanna watch an old man squirm? What we did back then... We were trying to win a war. We used every tool we had, tools we were permitted to use at the time, to try and win it. Well, UC did what the situation demanded, just like all of us did. And frankly, it's been too damn long for me to hold a grudge anymore. But at least now, with the TMD, some of that work is finally being put to better ends. Makes looking back a little less painful. You heard right. These Terramorph attacks, they caught the UC off guard. UC Brass doesn't like that. So, they want us patrolling the front lines of xenological life, ensure we've got intel on any possible new alien threats. Which means, we need someone to track down said aliens, and harvest samples from them. And not just any sample from these animals is gonna do, either. 
We're trying to build a comprehensive picture here, which requires specific cells from specific family lines of some oftentimes unfriendly creatures. But since dealing with unfriendly creatures falls square in your wheelhouse, well, I figured we might be able to recruit you for the task. This isn't the same sort of harvesting you and Hadrian were doing with the Terramors. A little will go a long way here. If you can get close enough to these creatures to harvest from them directly, you should be able to collect what we need without killing them. I'd check with the Lieutenant Gwalter before heading out. A good EM weapon could serve you well on these missions. Though, if heavens forbid, there's no viable option other than putting the things down. We're only talking a select few specimens here. These populations will recover. Pretty much every beast, behemoth, critter, and chimera humanity's run across is on the list. But we can send in-house researchers after the little guys. Your job will be primarily dealing with the, uh, more troublesome species. Glad to hear it. There is just one additional wrinkle. You see spec this as a one-person job, but I convinced them this sort of task merits expert backup. So, if you're interested, they've agreed to let you take Hadrian with you. You'll have to convince her, of course, but I don't think she'll fight you too badly. We could use Hadrian here, absolutely, but we have other scientists. Not a lot of other people can go up against apex predators and come home again and again. You and Hadrian are the right people for this job. Up to you, but I don't think she'd mind getting back out and doing some field work again. Now, let's get you the details of your first quarry. Here you go. Head there, find your specimens, and bring those samples back here. I'll have a tech waiting outside to collect them from you. And remember, proximity should be all you need to get your samples. Get close, harvest, and get out before they spot you. Don't let them get the best of you, all right? Welcome back, Captain. Hmm. I'm not certain. After the disbanding of the Red Devils and the Xeno Warfare team, I was put into storage. I do not know how I came to be reactivated. But a partially deleted log suggests sale to a non-military third party. I presume this third party was responsible for transporting me to Nira and providing me with my new directive. Eliminate the planet's remaining Xeno weapons. I have no additional data on the subject. My primary work was accompanying Major Sanon and Dr. Walker on field assignments to collect specimens for possible battlefield application. But on more than one occasion, I was actively deployed, my time on Nira, directing Unit 99 and its siblings against Free Star forces, was such a deployment. Major Sanon is responsible for my creation. The work of the Xeno Warfare team required a vast array of specializations. Field scientists capable of surviving in deadly environs. Soldiers delicate enough to leave dangerous Xeno life forms subdued, but unharmed. Major Sanon constructed me in an attempt to accomplish all those needs. I believe my field record would show that she was successful. Closing log. Captain, looks like we missed each other back at Mast. Listen, I just wanted to say, I could have never guessed where all this was going to lead. But now, knowing what I do, that my father truly is the monster I always thought he was. Well, I've just spent a lot of my life in pursuit of the truth. So, you bringing it straight to me, it just means a lot. The best ones certainly do. You know, I was thinking, while we were up on that podium, if I wanted to try and see him again. But I knew the answer before I even finished the thought. I didn't. Because confronting him, what would I have gained from that? From letting him remind me I can never truly be rid of him? Nothing. 
Now, all I'd be doing is acknowledging that he still has some sway over my life. And while I can't do anything about his role in my past, I'm not about to let him control my future. And thanks to what we've done together, that future is brighter than it has been in a long time. Words can't do justice to how grateful I am for that. Well, I think it's safe to say you succeeded beyond anyone's wildest dreams. It's been an honor, Captain. Good luck out there. Hey, you need something? Okay, I'm listening. What's going on? Things are good. It's nice to see the place cleaned up again. Brings back a lot of old memories. Been great so far. I'm happy to be working with Percival again. I think the TMD is set up to make a real difference in the settled systems. I'm honored to be a part of it. Back up? What does that have to do with me? Maybe. Why do you ask? Oh, I'm flattered, but I don't think so. I'm doing important work here. Percival needs my help. He would not okay me abandoning my post. No, it's not that. You just caught me by surprise. I figured I'd be at the TMD for the long haul. Expert backup, huh? Sounds like Percival's just trying to get me out of his hair. I don't know about this. Leaving the TMD is a big decision. That's supposed to make me feel better? That old geezer will drive the place into the ground if I let him have his way. But if he wants to lose one of his best scientists to field work, that's on him. We'll see how long he lasts without me. If you really need backup out there, I'll watch your six. You can count on me to pull my weight. I'll always help out in combat, and I'm happy to assist you with any research, too. Having an extra xenosociologist around on this assignment sure couldn't hurt. We'll be dealing with plenty of hostile creatures. Yeah. I think so, too. Thank you for the offer. Really. It was unexpected, but... I think this will be for the best. Both for me and for the settled systems. I'll head out soon. I just need to talk to Percival before I go. He's gonna get an earful for arranging this without talking to me about it first. See you, Captain.
must be the one with the samples then. I'll get these logged ASAP. If you're interested in collecting more, you can speak to Dr. Walker. Oh, and your pay? Here you are. Thank you, uh, Captain. I'm sorry. Heat beaches can turn into... what? Terramorphs. Giant carapace-encrusted tanks. Enter the new scanning protocols. On our watch, no heat leech enters this city. Understood? Understood. All right. Let's get out here then. is back. Here to report anything else? If you have a new story for me, I'm very happy to pay your fee. Really? To say you have my undivided attention is an understatement. A lot of people were there. The accounts we have got were chaotic. What was your role in that? The Vanguard was involved. That's good to know. The whole city is still on edge over the attack. We were fortunate, damn fortunate, that casualties were so low. What was it like in the thick of things? Mm, pure instinct, huh? It sounds like New Atlantis. Heck, the whole you see owes you a great debt. Any closing comments? I already have a good story here. That's a mouthful. A thankful you guys are around mouthful. Hey. Constellation, from all of us that live here, thanks. We use the word hero a lot in news, but you really are one. Look who it is. Oh, uh, okay. If you want to. We met when I was 19. The UC assigned him to be the co-head of my Xeno Warfare unit. Our first day working together, he said there was no way a kid could keep up with him in the lab. <laughs> I had him eating his words by the end of my first week. I was close with everyone in the Xeno Bio unit, but Percival and I have a special bond. Even if he is a huge pain in the ass. Hmm, that's a tough call. I've seen most of the creatures in the settled systems, and there are plenty of strange ones. One of the most memorable was an insect-like predator I encountered on a remote planet in the Moloch system. It hunted by sucking the oxygen from the atmosphere around it to suffocate its prey. Isn't that fascinating? No, I encountered it long after the Xenowarfare Division was shuttered. I was just there to observe. Good thing, too. I don't think one of those things would have come quietly. <laughs> sure was. All the xenobiology experience in the galaxy won't protect you against something like that. Not without the right gear. People are far from the most dangerous thing out there. It's a good thing we've got weapons and armor to make up the difference. I have a lot of stories that end with me almost becoming something's lunch. Sure. I have plenty of stories. This one won't make you squirm, I promise. One of my favorite aliens in the settled systems is native to the Archimedes system. It's a massive xylophagic creature with almost impenetrable armor. They look dangerous, but they're actually quite gentle. When I visited their homeworld, I followed a herd of them for days without any problems. You and me both, Captain. What would you like to know? Everyone loves a war story, don't they? Fine, but I'm not going too deep. A lot of things happened back then that I'm not proud of. No, I don't. The colony war ruined a lot of lives, including mine. But I do miss my soldiers. <laughs> it's been a lonely couple of decades. Really special. There's no better feeling than finding somewhere to belong. That's what the Red Devils were to me. A family to fight beside. You know, 
To become a Red Devil, you have to do hard labor in the mines of Mars. When you're down there, the only people you can trust are your fellow miners. That trust made it to the battlefield, too. We had each other's backs every step of the way. I wouldn't trade a single one of them for anything in the universe. The Battle of Nera. I wasn't there, but my soldiers were. We suffered heavy losses. The Red Devils were a family, and losing family is never easy. I still think about the soldiers who never came home. It's hard for me to think of anything that happened during the war as a victory. I'm not proud of all the harm my Xeno Warfare unit did. Our battles got me plenty of commendations, but I don't think they were worth it. I ruined a lot more lives than I saved. My pleasure, Captain. It was good to reminisce. I haven't talked about my service in a long time. The way things ended with the UC after the war, I just... Well, it wasn't something I could talk about with a lot of people. Well, the years after the war were pretty dark for me. The Red Devils were disbanded as part of the Armistice. They thought we were too dangerous to exist. I'd take blame for that. My unit wouldn't have been as lethal as it was without me at the helm. The Red Devils were my purpose. I felt lost without them. I spent a lot of time wandering the galaxy by myself, searching for something new to live for. I mostly visited remote places with interesting creatures. I didn't want to be around a lot of people after the war ended. Almost 20 years, but it felt longer. That's an understatement. For a soldier like me, Serving the UC wasn't just a way of life, it was my purpose. It made life seem worth living. I really didn't know what to do with myself once it was over. I was hoping to find a new purpose out there in the galaxy, but nothing really stuck until I got the message about the terror morphs on Tau Ceti. Old habits die hard, you know? Fine with me. Have a good one. Where do you need my help, Captain? Yeah, I'm all right with that. No, I don't. Working at the TMD headquarters was an exciting opportunity, but I'm not made for desk work. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm glad to be here. I'm curious about things again. I'm happy to get up in the morning. I'm enjoying the books I read and exploring new places. It feels like I finally found the purpose I've been looking for. <laughs> My greatest hope? Since when are you a philosopher? I'm happy where I am. I want to stay right here, doing exactly this for as long as I can. I guess that makes not getting fired from your crew my greatest hope. <laughs> that old bag of bones? What's there to miss about him? I miss him and Kaiser plenty, but this is what Percival wanted from me, and I'm grateful to him. He clearly knows me well enough to get that this job would make me happier than working at a desk. I'm grateful that he nudged me in the right direction. I think I have. It's a hard thing to admit, but no amount of grief can erase the choices I've made. I'll always have regrets, but... I know I can't change the past. All I can do is move forward and try to better myself. Who knows? If I stick with it long enough, I might even bring some good to the settled systems. Sappy's not a good look on you, Captain. But I am grateful to be here. Leaving the TMD behind was the right decision. I hate to admit it, but you and Percival were right. Don't you dare tell him I said that. Bye, Captain. Welcome to the Rock, I guess. Well, if you're asking me to toot my own horn, I will oblige. I'm a senior ranger. I coordinate all manner of things, great and small, for our outfit. If you've ever seen the mission board, that's my baby. Being that you're one of us, might be worth checking out the mission board. Credits to be made, justice to be served. 
Just about the hardest way possible. I had, shall we say, a, uh, a checkered past. Rangers caught me dead to rights and offered a deal. Leniency if I helped take down my, uh, well, criminal associates. So I took the deal. It was real touch and go, but uh, a lot of bad guys went down. Why, yes, yes I was. Not a half bad one either. Might have gotten a little too cocky, tempted fate too many times, but mainly I underestimated the Rangers. Big mistake. No friends of mine, truth be told, who barely had a choice to work for them. But they were behind bars, and so was I. But I served my sentence, searched the dark recesses of the soul. I realized the only time I felt genuinely good about myself was working with the Rangers. So after a parole for the very best of behaviors, I nagged the Rangers night and day until they gave me a chance. Haven't looked back since. Justice never smells so sweet as when it's followed by a lot of credits. <laughs> Listen, you keep chipping away at criminal activities and we are sure to pick up some more leads like this. So keep it up.
have them. I don't think you got them all. It's over? It's over for real. I can't believe you did all of that. You rangers. And now, I need a long shower to forget all this. Thanks. Anything, this equipment could take your fingers off. I'm glad someone came along. We could really use your help. A band of heavily armed spacers has been taking what little we survive on out here. Now they've started taking shots at us for fun. I know it's not your problem, but we're not up for that kind of trouble. Can you help us? Thank you. Stay safe out there.
What's the status? We won't be safe until they're all put to rest. Not going to lie, that's the best news I've heard all day. Here you go. For a job well done. Thanks again. when corrosive vapor started to spew out of cracks in the ground. In all the confusion, one of our crew got left behind. We've been worried ever since. She must have gotten hit in all of the chaos. We need you to bring her back. Can you do this for us? Oh, that's great. Thank you. Right, back to it. Help here. Please. Oh, here, let me see that. Uh. Amazing. Knocked the pain right out. Much appreciated. We should get out of here. You lead the way. You're back. Thank you so much for taking care of our friend. Please, take this. It's not much, but I hope it's enough to make the trouble with it. Thanks again. Standing down. Thank you. 
Incoming combat protocol. Thanks for helping me clean up sticks. He may look ungrateful, but he appreciates it. Have a look for yourself. <laughs> He's never looked better. Had the paint cleaned up, some things smoothed out of his chassis, and even upgraded his firmware. <laughs> All thanks to you. Look, I, I know it's ridiculous to be this excited about having that big old tin can around, but uh, <laughs> he's still the only friend I've got. Come to think of it, after you took the time to help me, I'd say I've made a new friend. And uh, you're welcome here anytime. Always keep plenty of ammo in stock, too. Security scan weapons are currently zero percent. I'm sorry, your inquiry is invalid. Neon Tactical deals in weapons and armor for use in combat, for cleaning supplies and other household items. Please visit the appropriate vendor. Disengaged. Yeah? Thank you for handing out those flyers. Yes, my friend. 
It's amazing how much my fellow merchants have been motivated thanks to your kind actions. Knowing that no one's been alone with their troubles is just what everyone needed to hear, and now they're rising to the occasion. It's the dawn of a new day, my friend, and we have you to thank for it. It was good of you to stop by, my friend. Those supplies were sorely needed. Thanks again for getting them to me. Please state the nature of your medical emergency. Yes, absolutely. And I'm not going to lie. It's nice to not have to scrounge every last one of my own credits to pay for that stuff. <laughs> oh, and don't worry about future shipments. Ever since you connected the dots between myself and Abby, she's been reaching out. She's organized regular supply runs between Voli Alpha and the clinic using some private contractors to avoid any further interference. It's nice to finally have time to concentrate on the more important things around here, like keeping people healthy and on their feet. You and Abby really pulled through for me. Huh. Well, it's completely dependent upon how long the user's been addicted. People have been using for, say, two years or less, I've been able to put through a full detoxification program successfully. But there are others who have been addicted pretty much all their adult lives. And I have yet to try and cure someone who hasn't relapsed. Aurora stimulates the neural circuits in the brain, specifically targeting the neurotransmitter serotonin in the prefrontal cortex. This causes significant sensory hallucinations, both auditory and visual. That's the enticement factor. As you can imagine, this state is highly addictive, and the user gets stuck in a vicious cycle. They need more Aurora to satisfy their cravings. So you're an empath. Very few people have this gift, or curse, depending on how you look at it. There have been some clinical trials on a regiment that can suppress this talent, permanently. It's perfectly safe, assuming you're interested. Excellent, let's begin. And we're done. You should feel the difference immediately. Just take it easy for a half hour and enjoy. You aren't looking well at all. Perhaps you'd better sit down. That happens more than you think. There's a certain percentage of people that experience adverse effects in space. Fortunately, there's a procedure you can go through that can correct it. But once you get it, the procedure can't be undone. Excellent, let's begin. And we're done. You should feel the difference immediately. Just take it easy for a half hour and enjoy. Thank you for retrieving the supplies for me. Stay away from Aurora before you get hooked.